The taskbar in Windows 10 sits at the bottom of the screen giving the user access to the start menu, as well as the icons of frequently used applications. If you want to add applications to the taskbar, you can go into the start menu and you can uh, right click on an icon or an application, more, and you have the option to pin to taskbar and you'll see that icon will now be added to the taskbar. You also have the option as well if you want to drag an application from your desktop directly down to the taskbar and you'll see you'll be able to add it there. You can also rearrange icons on the taskbar by just holding on to the icon by left clicking on it and you'll be able to just drag it left and just place it in which order you want. If you no longer want an application on the taskbar, you can just right click on the application and just go to unpin from taskbar. If you go towards the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar, you'll also have the option to move a number of icons from the status bar and bring those onto the taskbar as well. If you no longer want those on the actual um, taskbar, you can just drag them back in to remove them. On the left of the taskbar, you'll also have a new option called Task View. Task View allows you to quickly move within your open windows and applications, and you can access it by clicking the Task View button from the taskbar. You can also press and hold the Windows key, and then press Tab to achieve the same result. In the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar, you'll also see a Notifications option. So here you'll have a number of different options for uh, screen snip, you can go to different settings, you can go to network settings as well. If you go into all settings, this will bring you into the notifications area. So you can just go into system, notifications. Here you'll have the option to update your quick actions. So if you click on edit your quick actions here, you'll be able to add different icons to your notifications area and remove as you need. You'll also have the option to choose whether you want to get notifications from apps and other senders. Uh, notifications from your lock screen and VoIP calls as well while on the lock screen and you'll also if you just only want notifications from specific applications you'll be able to turn these on and off for applications as you want.